Greetings, survivors and friends, Shadow Franks here with your latest news from the staging branch of Rust, and if you go for a swim this week, be sure to keep your mouth closed as we now have floaters. No, actually by that I mean bodies, because now you'll no longer sink like a stone after getting domed, but rather you'll float like a plank after getting ganked. Bodies now interact with water, which basically means you become buoyant as soon as you shuffle off the old coil, and whilst this does have comedy value, it also means an end to denying attackers your loot by simply dying at sea. You'll now have to deliberately jettison it before you croak. I don't think you'll ever be able to insert a sail and plough the deep aboard one of your fallen comrades, but I guess that'll be unnecessary anyway, because as mentioned last week, we are of course about to get boats. They've received a good spit and polish ahead of being added to the main branch in next week's big update, now have a bit of storage at the front, require fuel to run, and the outboard has proper textures instead of looking like it was borrowed from Unturned. They won't be craftable, but will spawn in various places next to water such as beaches and near lighthouses, and will disappear if left outside for more than an hour. Cue videos on how to make the ultimate solo boat garage. Something else that adds to the Atmos this week is that now bullet impacts kick up the surface, although at the moment this doesn't work on rivers, only at sea. Help has been very busy teaching the scientists how to fly the Chinook, and it looks like his hard work has paid off. Oh, and this demo footage was running at triple speed, just in case you're wondering why it looks like it's travelling at Mach 4. He tells me the good news is that once this logic's all sorted, he'll be able to port it directly to the attack chopper, so it too can have a much better brain. And talking of brains, scientists received a few tweaks this week, with a delay being added from when a scientist sees a player to when he starts shooting at them, based on whether he took damage from that person recently. Also, they should start spawning around junk piles as default after the big update to main next week. Over on Hapis, the most recent changes have been merged on the staging branch. There are some new sites to explore, such as the collapsed tunnel in the north, a junkyard with a different layout to the one on procedurals, a sewer branch, a brand new mini monument called Outpost B3, a couple of new mining outposts, and various caves, tunnels, and topography changes. So in short, you might want to check it out if you haven't visited for a while. There were a few fixes this week, including another hot fix for the ever popular skins not loading feature. Again, let me know if it works now. Uh, or not. A gap in garage doors was closed, which allowed traps to be triggered through them, and Gary updated Steamworks, making it so that server info is queried directly, the upshot being to provide more accuracy and some fixes for Mac and Linux systems. Say goodbye to the old dead trees and hello to a brand new set of delicious deciduous arboreals. Try saying that a few times in a row. The new oak trees have been merged onto staging and come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and degrees of leafiness. Soon you'll start to see the tree cover graduating from pines in the tundra through to leafier forests near the arid biome, and this should really kick the variety up a notch. Not only that, but in works in progress now, the new birch and beech trees will soon be following in their footsteps, and I think in combination these are really going to change the way you appreciate the world of rust. I must say, I'm really impressed with the shapes and textures on offer here, as these are a million miles from what we've been used to in the past. The exact distribution and spawns need to be sorted out, but you can probably expect to see all of these in the big merge to Maine on April the 5th. We've got some more new hairstyles currently in the salon being tweaked, and for a start, there's a shaved one for that classic rust look, plus a larger beard. There's also a very short afro-ish style in the works. And this here may look a bit like the devil's coconut shy, but it's actually just showing a few of the different combinations and hair colours that we'll be seeing. I wonder if we could get heads on sticks one day, though. Mm. Lastly, a very brief snippet on Twitter this week from Alex at Facepunch, showing off a test for gestures in first person. Not a comprehensive set, of course, but let me know what you think to these and everything else in the comments below. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if for some reason you're not already. Come and join me in such places as Twitch, Twitter, Discord, and my Steam group. Links are in the description, and I shall catch you all soon. In the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio.